Right now, prairie dogs wreaking havoc on a cemetery in northern New Mexico. The rodents digging up graves. Andres Valle is in Taos, where the cemetery says another issue is making it even worse. Uh, the Sierra Vista Cemetery tells us they have an issue with prairie dogs. This is just one of the holes they've dug up, and this is on top of a grave of a World War II veteran. Prairie dogs digging up holes all across this historical Taos Cemetery, destroying grave sites in the process. Our newsroom even getting this photo of a bone near a grave they believe was dug up by the rodents. But groundskeeper Tom Mascarenia says the process to remove the rodents is complicated. You can't be here 24-7. You have to have like a little team because you drop the pallet, you put newspapers, and then you cover it up. The fumigant pallets that they give you are very poisonous. Beyond this fence is private property. Sierra Vista Cemetery claims that they're not working on their prairie dog issue that's on that side. And now they're seeing holes coming from this side of the fence onto their property. We do what we can to control in our property here, in our boundary, our area. But if, if the adjoining uh, cemetery or people in there don't don't manage their uh, pest control then it just comes right back we just try to do as much as we could on our side and it, and obviously it's not enough with the grounds mostly managed by volunteers there's not full-time staff to look over the grounds which makes it harder to keep up with these prairie dogs reporting in taos andres valle koet action 7 news Prairie dog pest control requires people to wear protective gear because of the poisonous pellets. The cemetery is asking for help from those who are familiar with the process. We have listed the contact information on our website. Just click on this story.